Indy Mogul. Will Shyamalan do what the Fire Nation could not destroy the Avatar? You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of The Last Airbender. in peace until I find her. In 1999, a brash young filmmaker burst onto the scene with The Sixth Sense. M. Night Shyamalan insisted on doing things his way, and it seemed he knew what he was doing, so Hollywood gave him space to work. Slowly but surely, Shyamalan built a reputation for eerie movies with his trademark twist endings. However, who could have guessed that Shyamalan's own career had a twist coming up as well? Two films, Lady in the Water and The Happening, were major underperformers for Shyamalan, and he found himself in need of redemption. And what better story to bring about redemption than the mystical hit animated franchise Avatar The Last Airbender? Shyamalan first heard of the show when his daughter said she wanted to dress up as waterbender Katara for Halloween. He sat down to watch a few episodes and was hooked, just like millions of fans the world over. So he pitched his idea on how to adapt the show for the silver screen to Paramount, which is under the same Viacom banner as Nickelodeon, the network that created Avatar The Last Airbender. Paramount liked the pitch and gave Shyamalan a budget of $150 million, plus they're backing him up with an advertising budget of $130 million. With those kind of numbers, The Last Airbender is going to have to deliver big. But with fans worried about the whitewashing of the cast and the much darker tone shown in the trailers, will they support the movie? And will new audiences be interested in a martial arts picture that's been converted to 3D in post and is rated PG? Let's go find out. BTT viewer? Yes, you are. Right. My name is Ezra. And you have a YouTube movie review show? Yes, I do. Ezra's Huge Reviews. Excellent. And you've seen Avatar The Last Airbender. Yes, I have. How was it? I hated it. To me, it was a waste of time. I didn't like it. I couldn't stand it. It was boring. Um, I actually dozed off on it for a short while. To be honest, at the beginning, I, I didn't really like how it began, but as the movie progressed, I really got into it. I thought it was bad. Yeah? Are you horrible. <laughs> are you just horrible. Are you fans of the series? Yeah, yeah so okay. I've seen all of the episodes. It didn't stay too loyal to the actual show, which kind of disappointed me. It did not capture any of uh, the emotion that the cartoon could simply capture in a half an hour within its two hour length. Some reviewers are saying, oh, this must be what the series is like. Is that true? No, there's less comedy and it's kind of too serious, really. They are sadly mistaken. They should go buy the DVDs of the cartoon and forget this movie even existed in existence. The script writing was horrible. Absolutely horrible. Like, well, honestly, like, a, I don't know. A high school kid could have done better than that. Really? Dev Patel was awful, which is a shame because I loved him in Slumdog Millionaire. Oh, no. Steven Seagal has more emotion than this movie. <laughs> oh, right? oh. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's trash. The whole story is just rehashed, regurgitated, and tossed up on big screen in 3D. We watched it in 3D. It was 1750. If you're gonna watch it, then there's no point paying the extra for the 3D if you really want to come watch it. It didn't need to be in 3D, and I kept on taking my glasses on and off, and it looked exactly the same. $40! $40, Forty dollars down the drain! Just let it go, man. Just, just let it go. Let the emotions flow like water now, remember? Well, there was a lot of controversy over the casting. Yeah. The you know, people too. felt they cast actors who didn't represent the characters, yeah. and they whitewashed it. How do you guys feel? Well, with recent race, I could care less, but some of the characters, like uh, the uncle, Uncle yeah. Ivo, it didn't fit. It, seemed like fit. it actually didn't match with the characters, like how they're actually described. It's not even their appearance, like even the way they act wasn't. Oh, the, and okay. like, it was like, you kind of felt a little betrayed because like while watching the movie, you kind of grow attached to those characters. Yeah. And you see them completely altered in this movie. And Sokka was supposed to be funny, but he wasn't funny at all. And Aang's supposed to be like, Carefree and childish and happy, but that wasn't really shown. Even the kid that that was playing Ong, he's supposed to be, well, he's supposed to be like a trained fighter from Shaolin or something like that. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, I'm a martial artist. His background was garbage. Um, the, the martial arts I seen in there was terrible. They relied more on special effects, and that's the whole purpose of why people like the cartoon. They like the, the yeah. realistic movements. Is it redeemable under any in any way? Well, the visuals are decent. But that's about it. I must say, you know, the special effects were pretty nice. I really liked how um, he incorporated CGI effects into 
um, the water bending. At least the air bending was. The air bending seemed kind of lame. Whose fault do you think it was? You know, honestly, probably the director. Yeah, the director. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is supposed to be a trilogy. <laughs> That you, ended right there. <laughs> pretend you're talking to somebody who, who's online for this movie. Okay. Don't see The Last Airbender. It's awful in 3D. It'll just like ruin two hours of your time. It's just a terrible movie. We're fans, so we just have to see it. But yeah. if you just want to have a good movie experience, maybe you should try to watch something else. If you want a good laugh, then come watch us, because it's just really that bad. Like, <laughs> wow. Just now. No, 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 no. Avoid it. If I'm on YouTube, no. What do you give the movie on a 1 to 10? A 0 0.5. I'd give it a 2. I would give it a 1. I think I would give it a 7. 5? 6? I'd probably give it like a 6, 6 and a half. 3 or 4. 3. Uh, 5 or 4. I would give it a 0.2. So audiences give The Last Airbender a 3. Meaning M. Night Shyamalan's breaking a lot of hearts. Like this innocent BTT viewer we met on his way to see the movie. Hi, so what's your name? Emmanuel. So uh, you're a Beyond the Trailer viewer, right? Yeah. Oh, cool. So what movie are you going to see today? Uh, Avatar Last Airbender. So what are your expectations going in? Um, I'm hoping that like Mike Sh um, M. Night Shyamalan does a really good work with um, the Avatar series. And that it's like really good. Yeah. Have you read any of the reviews? Um, no, not yet. Oh, okay. All right.